All right. Hey guys, Jason Linear here. I am very excited today to be in Lexington, Kentucky. We're here at Murphy's Camera, which is the best camera store in uh, Kentucky. Is that what I'm supposed to say? <laughs> yeah. The world. <laughs> the world, right. Um, I traveled all the way here to see uh, my, my uh, fellow YouTuber here, Mr. Ken Wheeler. Hello, it's good to see you, Jason. Good to see you, brother. The world is full of a lot of problems and uh, you know, recently I released a video saying that I wanted to find a way to have photographers unite and, and I reached out to Ken and asked him if it was okay if we could uh, meet up and he was very cordial and very, uh, very cooperative in making that happen. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to record a series of videos for you guys where this is the first time we've met. Uh, we just spoke on the phone uh, together two days, three days ago. Yeah, for the first time. And... Uh, we're gonna go out shooting tomorrow, so don't worry, we're gonna do that, that'll be a lot of fun. We're gonna film this, uh, we hope you guys enjoy. Um, and, and one thing I would say, to, at least to my followers, is um, <laughs> guys, let's let bygones be bygones, okay? Um, we don't need a bunch of craziness going on. We expect there will be comments, negative comments to this, but let, we're trying to set an example for positivity and, and that, uh, you know, it doesn't mean we can't talk about things that are wrong or can't talk about differences and we're not gonna agree on everything, I guarantee right. on that. But uh, it, it does boil down to us um, finding a good way to do it, so. I don't even agree with me on family members, but you love them and life is short and there's no need for that. We're talking about cameras and photography here, not like children and, um, you know, important things that matter in life, so. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry I interrupted you. <laughs> You're fine, Ken. <laughs> so, um, I wanted to, we haven't scripted any of this. That's not, I don't, <laughs> we haven't. Um, we haven't even spoken about what we're gonna talk about. I have some ideas, Ken may have some ideas. And what we may do is, is uh, once we get onto a certain topic, uh, we may um, break these up into separate videos. Uh, I don't know, call this the odd couple or something. <laughs> but um, but uh, I, just wanna, I just wanna speak to you and to your followers and let you guys know, um, you know, you're welcome in my tent. You're welcome. And, uh, you know, I think that everybody has something to offer. Uh, I, I do think that you have a lot of knowledge, Ken, to provide to the photography world. Well, you, you, you do too. I mean, I, I'm nobody. I mean, I just wanted to make some helpful videos. I never started out thinking I'm making a ton of uh, photography videos. I mean, I knew I could make a ton, but I, I had no idea I could you make. You do make a ton. I, I had no idea I could make this many, but, uh, um, yeah, I mean, um, yeah, we obviously didn't script this because I'm sitting here going, um. um. <laughs> That's the, well, don't worry, because I, I can cut the ums out, of the, out yeah. of the video. Yeah, unlike me, who's always uh, uh, never editing the videos. Um, <laughs> not at a loss for words right now. Okay, well, I have an idea for a concept, if you're okay with it. Yeah, sure. Um, I am known as one of the biggest, biggest Sony lovers on planet Earth. Yeah, well, I, I enjoyed the. I, I actually I did not enjoy. I greatly enjoyed and was uh, shocked at uh, the A9. I mean, I knew it'd be really awesome autofocus tracking. The battery life was incredible. You know, the autofocus track was absolutely off the hook. Uh, as I say, squirrels on crack. You know, if you can track squirrels on crack, then uh, crazy idea of mine. Yeah, absolutely amazing. I enjoyed it. And I met some people in the park, and it's like, what are you doing with the Sony? It's like, what? And I got some pictures of them on <laughs> Flickr. They're flying a drone. And he said, we, we know who you are, we've seen your videos. And he said, what are you doing? So I said, I'm enjoying it. And he said, yeah, we own a Sony, we watch uh, Jason's channel. I was like, well, that's great. So. And, <laughs> <laughs> and you're, you're known as one of the biggest Sony haters on planet Earth. I really don't. I mean, a lot of that is like soap <laughs> opera, a soap opera drama. I mean, I do like make people laugh. And even my own girlfriend says, I don't know who the real person is, the guy in the videos or the guy that, you know, that, uh, you know, that I'm dating. So I, mean, I really am not. Um, I, I, I've actually gone too far on a few things, and I'm guilty of that. I mean, I'd be the first person to point the finger at the guy in the mirror, so I am guilty of that. And, uh, you know, there's no taking that back. You know, that, that's the way it is. I have to be honest about that. Um, I do love Sony's point and shoots. I've owned the um, DSC RX100 Mark II, Mark III, and Mark IV. Um, obviously talking into Sony mic in every video that I do and uh, I made a video like a week and a half ago I said here's the deal I mean when Sony comes out with stuff like the a9 then the people at Fujifilm and Canon and 
Uh, Nikon, they get off their duff, stop drinking beer and throwing darts, and they, uh, they pucker, and uh, that's good. So when Sony does that, then the other companies uh, adjust. So what Sony does that's awesome makes everybody else awesome, unless, of course, they go out of business, obviously. So that's a good thing all around. So. You know, Ken, I imagine your followers have probably, they probably are watching this wondering what questions you could ask me because you've, you've spoken a lot about me and I've spoken about you some, but you've spoken a lot about me. Um, what questions, I want to open, I will answer any question you have about me or about Sony or about my relationship with them or anything. So what questions do you guys have? Because, I mean, listen, you've, you've called me a shill. You've, I mean, you've said some things and so I'm just curious if you have, in other words, I would like to, I would like to clear up anything if yeah. you have those questions. I've not got any questions personally. Um, of the people that actually say VM and stuff, because I, uh, you know, I throw in a little soap opera drama, but uh, I honestly, even in live streams, the people that have watched most of my live streams, um, they will notice and they will tell you too that uh, anytime someone says something that's over the line, I either, you know, kick them out of the room or, you know, tell them to calm down with that stuff. I said, you're, listen, you're a guy with a family, you got a job. There's no difference between you and, you're different, obviously, than the guys working here. You got a job, you do it. And uh, I'd have to be, you know, a complete and total idiot not to be, you know, acknowledge the truth on that fact that, that's, you know, your job is to represent and test the product and talk about the product. And uh, uh, that's fine. And so... If I gone over the line on that, then I'm obviously guilty on that. And I know, you know, admittedly, you know, I have to be truthful that, that I have. So, you know, I confess to that. I don't know who started the spit and spat. I probably did. But uh, I told him before start of this video, I said, you know, I watched my wife dying slowly of cancer, all the horrible stuff on earth. I could die tomorrow of a stroke since I'm obviously in bad shape. I'm not in that bad of a shape. I don't drink or smoke or do drugs. But, I mean, you know... You might edit this out, but I'm going to say, screw it, life is short. There's important stuff in life. This is cameras. you got a job. It's no big deal. I've actually known that since day one. But I do throw in a bit too much humor sometimes and a bit too much drama. Even my, you know, my girlfriend has, you know, come at me for that. And some other people that watch not only your channel, because they own Sony stuff and Fuji stuff. And I have a lot of people that own Fuji and Sony. Mm -hmm. And, like, you know, just chill out. And, uh, you know, it's not personal. So it's I not. It never has been. I think what people misunderstand sometimes is I could care less if people hate a camera. Mm. Like when people say, oh, I hate this camera, I'm like, okay. Yeah, so, yeah. It's like <laughs> I didn't make the camera. It's not my baby. I didn't create it. I'm not the inventor. Mm. Uh, and, and furthermore, it's not my job to apologize for any camera or any camera no. company. Um, what it is, what it boils down to for me is um, I just, I think over the years, the only thing that's gotten to me has been the the feeling that's been put out there being bought off because I haven't been yeah and um, I think some folks don't understand that um, well you know what I don't know about everybody I know in my case and I know a lot of the other artisans and and I know Canon Explores the Light and Icon Ambassadors as well I don't know of any that have been mm. but um, one thing I will say is um, it is at least in my case it's about finding what works best for me and when I came across Sony it was it was uh, it was it was what I needed to shoot yeah, and there is no perfect camera I've said that a thousand times I mean this uh, I got attacked yesterday because people thought that I'd like uh, well they say stuff like gone over to the dark side it's like why did you say all this praiseworthy stuff about Sony I thought you were a Sony hater I'm not. I said I'd be fair to the camera. Um, now, it is obviously my personal opinion, but, I mean, as far as me, you know, approaching the camera, I did approach it fairly. I said several things on it were absolutely incredible, and uh, it was actually a joy to shoot. The battery life was incredible since I would be shooting with it all day. Um, I thought I'd have to recharge the battery. I didn't have to recharge it but once. Um, but, no, you got a job to do, and, you know, I'm not making hardly any money in YouTube, and I'm not trying to be anybody on YouTube. I don't ask anybody to subscribe. So, you know, I am guilty of, uh, I don't know, the humor and the drama. But See, be... that's the thing, though, Ken. Your humor's fine. Yeah. Even... Well, I don't know. Sometimes it's not, but... <laughs> well, I asked you to bring Fanboy. I thought it would have been oh, hilarious. Well, people already think I'm slightly crazy, and I'm not going to... not that crazy. <laughs> When you did the video saying that you were going to review the A9 and you're going to be fair and you put the hat on like me, 
That was pure humor only. No, no, no. That was fine. But I, I'm going to be honest with you. I thought there's no way he's going to be fair. Yeah. There's no way because how is the biggest Sony hater on, on planet Earth? I'm not. I know. I, I obviously I must have come across that way. Sometimes you don't see yourself until you, I don't know, take a step back. And sometimes that mirror is other people commenting. But then, you know, you get so many comments and they kind of wash over you. And uh, maybe you don't take it in. But, uh, you know, I was... I'm not. I mean, there's a lot of Sony products that I really do like, and uh, you know, I wanted to. It would be totally dishonest to not only to me, um, but to the camera, but also to Sony to actually test the camera. And because uh, I had calls from people wanting me to throw the, I did. I had emails and calls from people wanting me to throw um, the reviews on the various aspects of the A9, and, and there's no way I was gonna. There's, I would never even consider that for a millisecond. That's from the bottom of my heart. That's absolutely dead serious. The truth was not gonna happen. Anybody could disagree. You know, it's just my my review on the various aspects of the camera. Disagree with any part of it. Part of it, uh, the videos I did film. It's like, well, this is my view on this. But you know, I've uh, attacked an icon endlessly and Fuji on a few things. Another thing that gets wrong, that they get wrong, and that I'm a firm believer that the squeaky wheel gets the grease. So if a bunch of people decry things, and the camera companies do listen, but we should not both, uh, you know, squeak about something, but then have a uh, inbred, uh, you know, well, anything they, they do now. You know, I hate this, I had a bad experience, because someone could have a bad car and just think that Toyota is just the worst thing mm -hmm. on earth because they got a lemon car. Right. You can't hate Toyota for doing that. Um, and if they did, then they fix it. Otherwise, they go out of business. So right. none of these companies want to go out of business, obviously. So we both know that. So I wasn't trying to be anything more than the squeaky wheel, the squeak on uh, some things. But uh, I was very happy, and I won't look back on what I said about the A9. I thought it was an awesome camera. Actually, if I didn't have so many cameras, I mean, I would actually love to have one, honestly. Really? But, oh, I'd have to buy new lenses. <laughs> I got too many lenses. And That's a shocker. And Jason's seen my car. My car's got dents. It's an old car. I actually can't <laughs> afford another camera. I mean, I actually had to sell three cameras and uh, save up for six months to buy that GFX over there. I mean, nobody, Fuji nor Nikon, nobody gives me anything or no discounts or favors or anything like that. So I would buy one, but it's just too many cameras, don't have the money. So on and so forth. So, but I would like to have one, but once again, too many cameras. So, and you don't have to answer anything you don't want to. I'm just curious, mm -hmm. what what do you think Sony should do better? Because like one thing you always talk about is they don't have enough lenses. They don't, but I mean that's and that you know, clearly th that clearly was an issue, especially when I switched. There was like two. Well, it's like saying you don't have enough gray hairs. It's like, well, you got to be 60 years old to have a beard down to here. I mean, you just can't. You can't snap your fingers and make that happen. Right. Sony's obviously making that happen. I asked, got asked a really good question last night about the A9. I said, honestly, since a lot of people said, you know, I'm surprised you did fair review on the A9. There are a couple of things I disagree with you on the A9, but I was really I had a lot of comments saying I was really, really shocked that you're totally fair to the camera, or at least you know, fair to the camera, like you said you would be. Just like you said. And they said, what are the three things you would change? Um, the, the one thing is the ergonomic. I know Fuji and Canon and Nikon, they both have front function buttons. There needs, at least in my opinion, needs to be at least a front function button there. That would be one thing. The second thing was uh, um, the mech shutter. There could be a uh, design, and I'm obviously not a designer. I mean, I've repaired cameras and lenses endlessly, but I'm not a designer of them. Maybe there's a reason behind that, that the mech, sh mech uh, shutter lag uh, could be fixed and uh, the lenses of course is just part of the ecosystem but specifically the camera them itself um, I think the price could be a, a, a little bit less um, I think actually in retrospect of all those videos that being priced um, at 4500 that considering the fact for uh, photo I said that the camera would be absolute number one for photojournalism outdoor uh, action so on and so forth that they priced it that way because compared to the $6,500 Nikon D5 I mean, it'll it'll rock right there and even above it in a zone tracking, and it'd be a far superior camera for photojournalism, other things than the Nikon D5. So, you know, I have to be logical about you know the statement of what it's priced at. So, should it be 3,500? Should it be 4,500? I don't know what the cost point is to produce the camera, but right, and I neither do I. But yeah, higher gods than me obviously know the answer to that. But I mean, that's just subjective examination, so there's really not much to pick on there.
The so, G Master, actually, too, the 20, everybody kept asking me about the G Master, and I made a video on it because I was up for 36 hours. I thought the, the far superior to Nikon on the G Master Boca and the image rendering, uh, it, it blows uh, Nikon out of the water on uh, the Boca and the image rendering as opposed you've to their 24. You've been hard on Sony lenses. <laughs> No, I mean, I, I don't have the Sony lenses to test, but I mean. See, that's always been my thing with you. I just, it's like, I want you to get out there and test well, it. Well, Zeiss is making, I mean, it's like, I mean, if you say Sony Zeiss and Zeiss lens, I mean, I love Zeiss lens. I've got a lot of Zeiss lenses. Sure. So, I mean, you have to. See, that's, that's, that's why I reached out to you because that was the first time I saw you go and do what I, what myself, I don't want to speak for anyone else out there, but that's what impressed me the most was watching you was watching you get out there and actually use a camera. Because mm. one, one of my beefs is people who talk about cameras who yeah. don't own them or don't use yeah. them. And it's like, when I see these videos out there and it's like, you've never even used that camera. How could you be saying this stuff? Yeah. And so what impressed me is when you got it, you went it out, you took it through its merits. And, and again, there's things you don't like about it. Yeah. But that's there's what There's tons of stuff me. I don't like about Fuji and Nikon. So I mean, that's no different Sony-wise than it is for Nikon or Fuji. It's funny you say that how, how you, you're, you you say you weren't even aware of maybe you being the the epitome of Sony hate hate uh, Sony hater. Um, sometimes it's the the flip on me where people think I'm just the Sony rah rah captain, and it's like I love my mm -hmm. Sonys. But back to you, what you're saying, how you've been hard on Nikon and Fuji and all those guys. If people look back to my Nikon videos, mm. I didn't bash on Nikon either. I mean, I was I was hyped up about my Nikons too. That's just. It's just a style, if that makes sense. It's like when I'm using my gear, my gear's getting me great shots. It's like I'm grateful for that gear to help me accomplish all right. the goals that I have. Everything's lighting anyway. I mean, it all starts with your mind, then lighting, and then lighting control. I mean, on the list that I created, the camera ranks number five. But every time I do videos on lighting, I don't know if it's the way, you know, me being fat and ugly that people don't want to watch them or the fact that they just don't like, like lighting. I, I told people too, like when there's a photo <laughs> photography convention, you can actually watch it when the doors burst open. This is an undeniable fact. Nobody on earth can refute it. Is when the doors open on Photokina, all the uh, hobbyists and the, uh, you know, some professionals will whoop over there to the cameras and lenses and the hardcore, you know, uh, you know the the people that are sitting there and tweaking, you know, a little bit of lighting. They're heading over to where you know the soft boxes and the octa boxes and the strobes and stuff is. So I mean, that's ultimately what's important. But people want to talk about cameras and lenses endlessly on the Sony as, as opposed to Nikon. Oh, the one thing, yeah, really importantly, that I did attack in uh, my final Sony A9 uh, review that needs to be retracted, but I'm not guilty of, of messing it up at the time, is that I didn't get the charger and. Um, Someone else contacted me because I thought, is this wrong? And he said, yeah, it doesn't come with a real charger. So he was wrong. A guy that contacted me, you know who I'm talking about. And uh, <laughs> he said, yeah, it does not come with that. So I, in my video review on the Sony A9, I attacked the fact that it came with a wall wart like an iPhone and a USB charger. But it does come with a real charger. So. I thought that was uh, disturbing, and well, I have to for forty five hundred bucks. Yeah, well, I, would, I have to charger. retract that out of my video, but I didn't do it intentionally. I did it thinking that's actually what you know it really came with, but I was wrong. But I did not know that, so that was absolutely an unintentional mistake. So it wasn't uh, that needs to be retracted. Either I make a video retraction, but uh, that was a mistake. So I think we're making breaking news. You, <laughs> you, you say you would like to own an A nine. Oh, I would if I had too many cameras. Also, I don't have any glass. I don't have any glass for the... Uh, the I never in my wildest dreams thought I'd hear you say something like well, that. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> it was uh, the, you know, the statement I said, squirrels on crack. It's like the ultimate god level of autofocus tracking. I mean, the A9 will just, uh, you know, melt your, melt your bottom. It's just amazing. <laughs> I admire you watching your uh, language. Uh, well, I mean, no, I'm not I'm very, that bad. I'm no. very proud of you. No, I will no. say this, for what it's worth on the overheating issue on the camera, um, mine's never overheated mm. once. Um, I haven't even had the warning come on. Um, my A7R II's never overheated. Um, the only thing that'll happen is they'll turn off on video mode in 30 minutes because of the time constraints. I'm gonna have to check that about 10 minutes on these. But I've never had my camera overheat, uh, my A9. and. Uh, I felt bad about abusing it. I, I mean, um, I'm tough on a camera, but it was a borrowed camera. Mm -hmm. 
and I literally felt bad to the point that I kept, I was out, you can still see I got sunburn on my nose. I was out for eight and a half hours, the temperature is 87 degrees, totally sunny. And I pushed that thing far, far, far beyond what anybody, even the Olympics, I don't, get, I don't give a damn where they were, would have ever pushed it. And uh, no warning light came on. I mean, I only had four cards with me and two cards I kept having to reformat and immediately go back to shooting because I was just, I was jamming it right to the gills and I, 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 I slammed it against the wall over and over and over again. And, you know, I even did a FLIR, as you saw, I did yeah. a forward looking infrared and it uh, was uh, no discrepancy between uh, that and a Nikon D500 or like the Fujifilm X-T2 and filming 4K video. I mean, same temps. I did over three hours of 4K video recording. Wow. Um, it was indoors, obviously. It wasn't outdoors in the sun, but I mean, I still had a baseline to compare it at the room temperature of uh, 79 degrees. I keep my house hot, actually. Yeah, and I, just for you guys at home, just so you understand, when there's tests out there on overheating, you gotta, I would, very much value test that show show what happened it's like when I had my photo deox blow up and it destroyed my a6300 that I showed on screen it happened on screen um, I'll also say that when you're using adapted lenses anybody doing tests that are using adapted lenses as part of those tests that adapter can be causing problems for that camera so I wouldn't put any validity in a test that wasn't using anything but native lenses because that adapter is messing with electronics in there guys and as, as was the case with my A6300, it fried it. So just take that into consideration when you guys are watching stuff out there. I did see in the other video that the person that was having the overheating on the A9, in his latest quote on overheating video, he mentioned that he's using a card that is really, really slow. That was not the correct card to be using in that camera. Um, yep, yep. Uh, it's even slower than 95 megabit per second. Yeah, it, it, guys, this stuff matters. and. When you're watching these tests, all I would advise any of you watching this, for what it's worth, is um, make sure the cameras are being used the way they should be used, and make sure the cameras, I mean, you can make any product fail, is the honest truth. Oh, yeah. And, you know, I, I think you mentioned earlier people were trying to, <laughs> telling you to warm the sucker up. Yeah, and stick it on a heating pad, right? Yeah, no. No, literally, I got uh, two phone calls and a lot of emails. Yeah, make it, you know, you know do, do whatever it takes, you know, show it's... No, I'm not going to do that. Here's two things. I think it's really important now that I have the thought in my brain before it slips out. <laughs> Is that uh, due to my own uh, love of a little bit of drama and humor, that far <laughs> too many people think that I'm just like some sort of dyed in the wool Sony hater, and that is absolutely not true. It, it, it just bloody well is not true. Secondly, I, and I don't care if anybody believes this or not, I'm not I was not going to take that A9 camera and go out and do anything other than, even if my opinion was wrong, you totally disagree with me, tons of people said it was fair, and do something dishonest in reviewing that camera because I, you don't know me at all, you've never met me before until today, nobody else out there has met me either, would not do a dishonest review on that camera in my hands, you know, going out there and cranking with it all day, I would not be dishonest to it because I could not sleep with myself, I would feel bad. Um, it would be like cheating on my girlfriend or something. It just I, uh, I've got plenty of faults, but that is not one of them. I am guilty of hyping drama from other people on the A9. I mean, that is obvious. I don't even need, need to mention that, but I would not have that camera in my hands and mess with it and give uh, a false report on its performance. Your videos hyping the other drama drove me nuts. Yeah. But your video of you testing the camera was what I applauded. Mm -hmm. And before you guys at home start thinking that this is some master conspiracy, because we always have the flat earthers out there who, who think that... <laughs> Don't know where they come from. Who, yeah, who think that this is all one big giant plot by camera companies. Um, I was just out in West Virginia teaching a workshop. It's verifiable on my social media. And can release the videos, and I'm five hours drive away. And I said, let's make this happen. And so, um, I didn't reach out to him because he gave a favorable review of the Sony A9. I reached out to him because I saw, in my opinion, Ken, and for what it's worth, what I saw was I saw you turn a new page, and I saw you test test one of the cameras that I know, and you gave it a fair shake. And if you don't like the ergonomics or something else about it, that's fair game. Mm -hmm. I just love the fact that you actually reviewed it and gave it a fair shake. Mm -hmm. So kudos to you. Well, thanks. Um, I don't know if that makes up for any of the other drama that I've created, but uh, <laughs> no, uh, even before getting it in my hands, I never ever would have given uh, you know, a slant against that camera having gone out and tested it. I would not. Um, 
Maybe I should have done that earlier, actually. I don't have, when I get gear, I mean, nobody sends me any gear. Uh, if I'd had access to it earlier and other gear, I mean, other than uh, me borrowing the A9, like I said, I would like to own one, but I just have too many cameras. All the gear that I have is stuff that I bought because nobody gives me any freebies or discounts and I have to buy the stuff. And so I actually would have tested it uh, earlier would have loved to have tested it earlier. There is an issue the fact that I have no Sony glass, of so course. that would have been the other issue. But I thought the A9 was absolutely amazing. Um, um, obviously not familiar with the camera. I'm used to other things fitting in my hands, but I mean, that's no big deal. I mean, that's like uh, underwear. You know, it, it, it could be the best for somebody, but not fit someone else. So I guess it's a really bad analogy. Yeah, now I'm thinking about somebody. underwear, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's very personal. It's almost like camera bags. And ergonomics, I mean, there's no right statement. It either fits you or it doesn't. I mean, mm -hmm. what yep. fits the fat guy with the sausage fingers is not going to fit the uh, skinny person with the uh, long needle fingers. Well, um, I'm, I'm just uh, grateful that... Here's what I would say to anybody watching at home, and I'm saying to you as well, Ken. For what it's worth, anything we've been over the last couple years, um, I'm sorry if you've ever felt that I've slighted you. No. And, uh, you know, I, I guess what I woke up to a little bit ago, and my videos have been changing. If you guys have been watching my channels, my videos have been changed about the last two weeks. And it really boiled down to looking at my videos and I'm like, I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be the guy who's so gear hard or perceived to be a so gear hard or negative or derogatory or anything. I don't want to be known as that guy. I don't either. And, and so I decided to, to make some changes in my channel that hopefully you guys were able to see. Hopefully you'll see it too, Ken. Mm -hmm. But, um, and hopefully our followers are, there's always gonna be a small percentage who won't like this. But uh, regardless, I think it's good for us to set an example as to how YouTubers who were at odds, mm -hmm. photographers who were at odds can come together. Um, I, th I think the other thing that I really applauded you on is the fact that you showed pictures uh, I love the fact that you took the camera out and showed pictures. Um, I, I'm only laughing because I thought about our earlier conversation today where you talked about how you just slap videos up. So I understand you said you're not good at video editing no. to be able to put pictures with videos, but I love the fact that you're showing pictures. To me, that gives what you do a lot more validity. And um, I, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm encouraging you to continue on this path for what, for what it's worth. And uh, it's, it's what encouraged me to come out here. Oh, thanks. So this is gonna wrap up our first video. Uh, thanks, Ken, for joining me. Thank you, Jason. Uh, I really appreciate your hospitality and you coming out and having a good time with us. Thank you. And it goes to show you guys that even uh, what seem to be bitter rivals can come together and, uh, and uh, guys, it's just photography. Yeah. It really is. So um, let's, let's, uh, let's find a way to kumbaya together. I think we can do some really, really cool stuff. Um, you know, and part of this was coming together for me, uh, you know, having the Photographers Unite event that I'm doing next week in LA. If you guys are watching this, please come out, guys. I, we, I don't care what you shoot with Nikon, Canon, or Fuji, or what did I say? Pentax, what am I missing? Yeah, Olympus, uh, right. Yeah, a bunch of them. Um, Nikon, Canon, Fuji, Sony. Oh, <laughs> I just forgot <laughs> Sony. <laughs> That's not good. To the best camera store in the world. Fill in the blank. <laughs> Nailed down right here with our heads, one three my, talking heads. One of my favorite camera stores is here in Lexington, Kentucky called Murphy's Camera. <laughs> We're at 1100 Winchester Road and uh, it's always a pleasure to put on events like this with great folks in Sony be able to promote their great products as well as to service all kinds of all the other top brands as well. So we can help as a dealer. My name is Don Barker and I'd be more than happy to help me. Awesome. Appreciate you guys coming in. Thanks Thank so you, much. Don. Sorry. Yeah. Thanks for letting us uh, use your store. Oh, it's our pleasure. It's the only place to do this thing at. Yeah, no. It's very great, uh, gracious of you to let us come. Thank you. Our pleasure. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, Don. You bet. Thank you guys for coming in. Thank you. Appreciate it. So, guys, until next time, keep shooting. Never give up on your dreams. Do you know what I say next, Ken? Yeah, you only have one chance to get it right. So, well, the next one is find the right gear that works for you. And remember, you only have one chance to get it right. That's right. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys unless, later. Unless you have a time machine. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Which you, you're trying to create one of those, right? Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> talk to you guys later. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Cool. We did it. You guys still here? Hello? Talking to you.
Hey guys, if you want to learn online with me, go to patreon.com slash Photography, and you will be able to continue this craziness online from anywhere on planet Earth with me. If you want to join me live, go to jasonlinear.com slash workshops, and you'll get to see me in my full glory live and in person, guys. I think there's a smudge on there. Is that it? Yeah, I got it. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.